Where'd you run off to? I was starting to worry. You tend to attract a lot of attention, and not all of it good. Ah, gotcha. Should've known you can take care of yourself. What brings you back this way? What? Why do you want an audience with the princess? Is that so? Well, prepare to be disappointed. The princess is confined to her quarters, and forbidden to see visitors. Well, there is one way to see the princess, but it's a little crazy. To get an audience with Princess Yunma Fei, you must win the Royal Martial Arts Championship. The grand prize is to be a bodyguard to a member of the royal family. If you're the lucky winner, you can ask to serve as the princess's bodyguard. But easier said than done. The championship attracts fighters from every corner of the realm. You're either good or crazy, and I happen to admire both. I'll write you a letter of recommendation. The Chancellor will let you compete if I say so. Have you come to compete in the championship? Excellent! These are the strongest, bravest, fiercest warriors in the Talus Dominion. They've come from all corners of the globe to battle here for the right to protect the royal family. I've never seen you here before. Normally we don't accept such late entrance, but if you have someone who can vouch for your abilities, I may be able to make an exception. Yu Chun? Well, if he says you're a formidable warrior, excellent. I'll register you as our final participant. Good luck in the arena. Here are the rules of the Royal Martial Arts Championship. Pay close attention. The winner of the final duel will be crowned the champion and given the opportunity to take their place as a royal bodyguard. The preliminaries consist of multiple duels. Now make your way to the preliminary arena and prepare for your first fight. Tremble in fear of King Sawtus. Let the battle begin. You, you're the one they send for me. <laughs> the winner of this round. Been decided. I'm gonna teach you a lesson, Rut. The winner of this round has been decided. Ah. How did you best me? Your next opponent is the fiercest, most blood. <laughs> This round has been decided. Simply phenomenal. I have seen many warriors throughout this competition's history, but you are unlike anyone else. But do not rest just yet. You have one last match before the finals. 
If you prove yourself victorious here, you will secure your place in the finals. Now enter the arena and prepare to fight. You... No. I will not let you stop me from seeing Nam Soyu. Congratulations on making it to the final rounds. I expected nothing less. In these next duels, you will face formidable warriors who do not know fear. Haha, <laughs> you're eager. I like that. The finals will be opened by Chancellor Joe, and the Emperor himself will be on hand to observe. Here, read over the rules for the final rounds first. Yes, rules. Because the final round is viewed by the royal family, there are some extra rules. It would not be fitting for the Emperor to view a dishonorable fight. Read the rules and prepare to fight. Championship Final Round Rules Rule 1. Respect your opponent. Rule 2. No extra or unapproved weapons. Rule 3. Do not act like you know me or speak of my past in Bamboo Village. Understand? Confused? Well, when I found your name on the list of participants, I went ahead and made a few edits to your copy of the rules. Look, all I want is a comfortable life. I know you probably don't like me, but me being Empress isn't the worst thing that could happen, right? So let me give you this friendly warning. Don't talk about my past. Don't act like you know me. If you come anywhere near me, I won't think twice about having you arrested. With love. Nam so you. You're the last finalist. Have you made yourself acquainted with the rules of this tournament? Excellent. Then let us begin. You should be honored to be guested by a descendant of the Doyan clan. I must honor the teachings of the Twisted Serpent. You cannot do that right now. Good to see you again. But why are you competing? When I heard Nam so you was here, I could not sit idly by. I doubt she even understands how much danger she's really in being so near to Jin Sayan. Even after all she has done, she is still my daughter and my responsibility. The championship seemed the best way to get close to her and try to reason with her. Nam so you has done truly awful things, but it's not so easy to turn your back on one you've raised. If you ever have children or take on students, you'll understand someday. If I can just speak with her, I'm sure I can get her to see reason. I don't suppose you could forfeit the match for me. What is your reason for competing? I understand. I want to see her brought to justice as much as you do. But I can't back down. With palace security as it is, this may be my only chance to reach my daughter. I suppose matching our skills is the only way to reach a decision.
Congratulations to you, brave warrior. You are the winner of this Royal Martial Arts Championship. As you know, the winner is privileged to a meeting with the Emperor in person. It is traditional to bow before the Emperor. Come this way. Please, hear me out. I'm so you! You must listen to me. How did you... I mean, how dare you speak to me? My lady, do you know this man? I most certainly do not. This man must be deranged. He does not know what he is saying. How dare you accost Lady Namso Yu like this? Guards, take him to the dungeon. What? No, Namso Yu. Why are you... Who let that warrior into the tournament? By Mushin's regal visage, this always happens when I deal with rabble, all these filthy peasants. Oh, warrior, where are my manners? Truly, your skills are unmatched. They may even surpass our own peerless swordsman, Jung Hado. But don't tell him I said that. As Victor, you now join the elite ranks of the Talus Royal Bodyguard. And now, my question to you is, which member of the royal family do you wish to guard? I'm sorry, you what? You want to guard the princess? Perhaps you're unaware, but the princess is under a strict curfew. Are you sure you want to be associated with her? You're certain? Well, if you wish to tarnish your reputation by allying with her, I won't stop you. Make your way to the royal chambers to begin your assignment. It's really you! What? You know this warrior? When Yu Chan spoke to me of the winner of the Martial Arts Championship, I knew it must be you. What are you doing here? I see. I'm afraid getting close to her will be no easy task. She has both the Emperor and the Royal Army in the palm of her hand. Jung Hado and I can be of little help to you while her spies watch our every step. A direct assault is impossible. However, if we were to catch her alone and unaware, far from the prying eyes of her servants, we might stand a chance. I know of a man who deals in many commodities, chief among them information. His station has emboldened him to engage in unsavory business opportunities. I speak of the Chancellor, Zhou Sangu. Captain Yu Chun would be well within his rights to pay the man a visit on the city guard's behalf. Yu Chun and Zheng Hado have been by my side since I was a girl. While Zheng Hado fought with me on the front lines for the Skyhaven resistance, Yu Chun managed our affairs in the capital. I had my reservations when you mentioned wanting to see the princess, but now I understand. You're the warrior who helped her in the Moonwater Plains. Zheng Hado accompanied Princess Yun Mafei to Moonwater while I got stuck in Xiwei. Well, stuck's not the right word. You know what I mean. In any case, I've heard many stories about you. About the hero who aided the princess and her resistance. She's spoken quite highly of you. I also heard you have a bone to pick with Jin Soyan. Well, I'm picking that same bone. She's a threat to the Talus Dominion. If you want to take her down, I'm with you. But first, we gotta get close to her. And the only guy who knows where she is from day to day is Chancellor Joe. I hate that guy. Doing this through formal channels would take forever, and it isn't exactly my style. Let's sneak into his estate and grab that lizard by the throat. 